right now. In fact, from the Carolinas to Florida, Hurricane Helene starting to make itself known. The hurricane won't make landfall until later today, but already there is a lot of wind, a lot of rain across that region. Meteorologist Cody Matz is tracking it all. Hi, Cody. Yeah, good morning, guys. Behind me, you can see a live look uh, from Anna Maria, Florida, just south of the St. Petersburg area in central Florida. Yeah, the cameras do a little shimmy shake. It's been raining most of the night, and it's just going to get a whole lot worse uh, as uh, we move forward. And it's going to be like this for probably another 24 hours, at least in this spot. Another spot a little farther to the north, this time from uh, Hudson Beach. I believe we have, uh, look, there it is. You can see the flag of flying. There's been off and on rains in this spot. It's about 45 miles north of Tampa with uh, the conditions will continue to de deteriorate through the course of the day. And this is what's likely ahead for much of Florida and parts of Georgia. This was Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula yesterday as then Tropical Storm Helene passed by. Mexico's Meteorological Service says there is damage to many of the beaches, including several resorts in the Cancun area. Well, here's the latest track from uh, for this uh, particular storm. It's expected to make landfall between about 6 p.m. and midnight tonight. Some Somewhere in that evening and early overnight time frame, depending on exactly where it ends up. The color on there, the orange is tropical storm force winds. The red is the hurricane uh, where you see kind of that X at uh, the bottom of your screen in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. And then there's the cone moving to the north, likely making landfall somewhere in what's called the Big Bend of Florida. Flooding is already being seen as far north as North Carolina, and it's only going to get worse and continue likely into this upcoming weekend. Now, here's some video from Georgia showing how heavy the rain has been there already through yesterday afternoon. This is actually the Atlanta suburbs. The Braves, the Atlanta Braves, were supposed to have a game tonight against the Mets, but that's already been rescheduled for Monday. Flash flooding is going to be a big concern. This map is actually showing potential for the flash flooding. So this is the forecast from the Weather Prediction Center. On the left, the pink shaded zones, that's what we call a high risk for flash flooding over the next 24 hours. 80% of all damage and deaths related to flash flooding occur in high risk areas. So it's going to be a big problem, obviously, for the coast of Florida. And then as you get farther to the north in the southern Appalachians, just outside of Atlanta in Georgia, parts of South Carolina, Tennessee, and North Carolina. Now in Florida, the biggest concern right along the coast is the storm surge. Some coastal areas could see 20 feet of water. We, of course, will continue to track Helene's progress and keep you updated through the course of the morning. It is going to be a wow. long couple of days for those folks. And just the um, the amount of land that's going to be impacted from this much different than the last several hurricanes uh, that have entered the southeast in the last few years. Yeah. And we know we have a lot of people here have connections yep. to Florida. Obviously, you mentioned, but not just Florida. Yeah, it's so not just Florida this time. It's all the way up wow. to Atlanta. And when you hear 20 feet of surge, my goodness. That's a lot. That can do a lot of damage. Yeah. All right, Cody, thank you. Thank you.